hey what is going on hi uh hola uh como esta uh, no okay wait no start over i'm gonna start over hey what's up how's it going uh my name is nemo welcome to my drawing channel and uh today i'm going to be sketching a boathouse for frog Zzz. frogs because it's cooler with a z uh, so I'm going to start off with remembering what boats look like. Uh, this is not what bo boats look like, but just getting like the shape of it. This kind of looks like more of a boat, like a a cruiser or something, like a, a liner. I don't know. Um, this is me thinking. <laughs> I'm like buffering. But I think I have an idea and that's where I'm going to get started. So why Boathouse for Frogs? I don't know, but it makes sense. Like frogs are amphibian, they're like half land, half water, and that's kind of what boathouses are, so it's fitting. It's self-explanatory, really. Uh, here you see me trying to get the overall layout of what's going to be going on here. At this point, I'm, like, making little marks for myself as well and just kind of getting really expressive and, like, loose with it. Uh, I didn't want to get, like, super serious or technical with it. There's another mark, so I knew what I was going to, like, come back to or else I would have forgotten and, I, and the drawing wouldn't be what I wanted it to be. Uh, this is how I do trees. I don't know where I learned this. I don't think it's correct. But this is how I do trees. It makes it, it works, kind of, sort of, yeah, it works. So uh, I have trees here because frogs sometimes live in trees. That's it. <laughs> I was thinking of sort of a not like a forest or like a swamp or anything, any biome in particular. But I know frogs like water, and I know that. Well, what is it? Like a tree frog? It's in the name. So I know frogs like trees. Which is why I put them here. They're like a major part of this. There you see me going back to my mark that I made before. So I don't know why my perspective drawing in this sketch is just out the wazoo. Not the greatest. I would say that I'm better than that, but, you know, sometimes I'm just not. <laughs> I didn't want to use, like, a ruler or anything, so all of this is going to be freehand. Speaking of hand, as, speaking of hands, if you caught a glance at my watch, you can see the hands are at a terrible hour to be sketching a boathouse for frogs. And this audio is being recorded at a terrible audio to be recording for a sketch for a boathouse for frogs my time line is just not great ever so this is gonna be constant I think or maybe not hopefully I'll get better in the future with going to bed on time or going to bed period but for now frogs <laughs> So I got kind of a curved shape here because I wanted to form it around these trees that I've put here. And it's on stilts because, you know, boathouses and flooding. But of course, frogs probably don't have to worry about flooding because they're frogs. Uh, I don't know, their furniture might get kind of messed up, though. So that kind of works, too. So yeah, stilts. And I have this kind of, like, interesting, like, stair thing going on. Of course, again, no guardrails because they're frogs. They'll be fine. They, I think they're, like, hands are sticky. So going up these stairs won't be too bad. Um, not ADA, of course. No, no, um, I don't know if frogs really care about ADA. I mean, probably handicapped frogs would care about frog ADA. But right now, this house isn't built for uh, 
a frog that would need that. So it's not included. Now this is me getting into the details of the windows and uh, the mullions of it, trying to make it realistic for some reason. Uh, I try, I try. There's my talk, my t talk, my watch, and that's a door, by the way. That's why I had to erase it. But, um, I get into stairs again, and, and so I wouldn't forget, I just drew, like, the guide swoop on, like, how I wanted the angle to go. Uh, this made me bored so I just jumped to like something else before finishing and then going back to it because I was like I have to like finish or else it's not good and that's as much as you're gonna get for the stairs now I'm on to frog furniture uh I feel like frog furniture would be waterproof inherently but that also implies that frogs know how to sew so this is sort of lore building actually like frogs have figured out like infrastructure to have like a sink and everything and furniture so they're little frog hands have figured it out actually so that's what this universe is there's a sink and a nice window for when they're washing their little frog dishes um, okay i'll stop but now I have, of course, uh, making a house a home, a boat house into a boat home with portraits and family photos of the occupants, of course, more world building for whatever this is. Uh, I spend a lot of time on this, just doing little pictures. Of frogs. I have been in a bit of a frog kick lately. Uh, not I. I filmed this a while ago, but like recently, like when I'm recording this, I've been getting into frogs. Oh, going back to that mark that I made earlier in that little area. Of course, lily pads. You can't have frog environments without a lily pad. That's like the thing. Like what is it? Leap frog. Where are they leaping? To a lily pad. I've never seen a lily pad in real life, but I assume they would be, like, really pretty. Of course a frog would want to jump onto one. They should make lily pads for humans. I don't know what that means. This is me drawing algae. As best as I can. Algae and uh, moss. You know, the stuff that floats to the top because this is a... Oh, it's a, a, a swamp? I don't think frogs, lives in, frogs live in swamps, do they? I mean, it would make sense there, too, but I feel like it's like a bog, maybe, or just a... Where do frogs live? I'm not looking it up. This is the outline of the pool, or sort of a pool. I'll get into detail later, but... He... You don't really need a pool if it's like, it's just like a hole in the little raft-like structure here. But this is designated for this little boat house because the lily pads are theirs. They own the lily pads. So those outside of this little boat house do not have access to the lily pads. And that was me contemplating using a ruler for once. And as you can see, I decided against it. Um, it's so, I didn't want to get too detailed in this. I was expecting this to be like 30 minutes, 15 minutes of sketching and then on to the next one or something. Not that I was doing multiple at like 2 a.m. But, um, yeah, I spent like an hour on this like way too long and the timer kept going off and I kept being like no I'm not done I'm not done yet it has to be finished I got really invested in this for some reason but not invested enough to use a ruler so make of that what you will uh guard oh so guardrails do come in on this little balcony but not for the stairs never for the stairs that's not where they need it um 
this is me trying to figure out like how to better define the form because it makes sense to me but it doesn't make sense to other people because eh. there's like a hole in the middle too like in the nature of trying to get this um, structure to kind of like form around the trees and not have the trees kind of being like pushed out or something there's like a hole in there and you can't really tell um I do some like final touches off video afterwards so I might upload or um, upload I might put that at the end of this but I'm not sure uh this is me trying to figure out the rest of the scene and for some reason I thought it makes sense for it to be attached to a bay but that's not true boathouse style so I decided against that this is just going to be a free floating boat house for frogs and uh, they're just like chilling on the little raft they're kind of self-sustained right because frogs don't really need currency or politics they just need a nice little place to like rest their flippers and their chill this is shading. No, I'm not gonna call that shading. This is me coloring in the negative space for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm tired. And then of course floorboards because wood and water make sense. It doesn't, but maybe it's coated. There's no reason why this wouldn't warp within like a week, but sure, go off. And then a curved window for uh, aesthetics. It, it makes sense. There should be a window over there. Or it gets too dark. Um, and then, of course, again, having the form move around the trees. And this part actually got me excited. Um, I bought alcohol markers last summer. And it's... No, no, no. A few summers ago, actually. And I never really get a chance to, like, use them. Um, so I just wanted to, like, break them out for some obscure reason. Because uh, I could. And I did. Add a little pop of color. Uh, again, I didn't want to get, like, super detailed or anything. I wasn't going to ink it or go over the lines or anything like that. Um, so this was just for me. <laughs> I did this for me. I did this whole video is me doing stuff for me and then uh, welcome for the ride. If you want to join me, thank you for coming. Um, yeah, this is also a nice practice for alcohol markers. I don't think I'm using it correctly. Like I kind of, kind of am. Yeah. You use like the lighter color and get darker. I've watched a lot of tutorials at this point when I was recording and I've watched a lot more now so hopefully my skills will improve but I learned that from one of my professors is to put it behind the tracing paper so it's not like on top of the ink but yeah thank you for watching Boathouse for Frogs alright I guess I'll go to bed or something uh, We'll see. <laughs>